apples. Let's make some stuff with apples. Recently, uh, I went to a local orchard and decided that I was going to pick some apples because I had never done so. That's my friend Brooke there. She decided to come with me. Hey Brooke. So after a long day, we ended up, okay, it really wasn't a long day. We were there for maybe an hour and a half. But we ended up picking like 30 pounds of apples and decided to make some apple butter with them. You want to start with nice, fresh, clean apples. I've got a few uh, Fuji apples and some Pink Lady apples and some Bernie Smith. So a nice variety. And this should be about the right amount to fit into my Dutch oven. And I'm looking for about five-ish pounds, or just over five. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my apples and leave the skins on. Uh, it leaves a nice texture in apple butter, and it also has there's also pectin in the skin, so it'll help make your apple butter nice and thick. So you want to go ahead and just cut them into about one-inch cubes. Ish. I'm just going to throw them right into my pot here because why dirty another bowl? To our apples, what we're going to do is add one cup of uh, brown sugar, light brown sugar, one cup of white sugar, about one tablespoon of cinnamon, quarter of a teaspoon of ground cloves, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and just a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to go ahead and start adding all that in there. To that we're going to add two cups of filtered water. And we're going to turn our burner here on to high and let that get warm. It's a nice, good stir. Want all that goodness to coat our apples. And to give it just a little bit of brightness, we're going to use the juice of the lemon here. Ah, 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 oh, paper cut, paper cut. All right, throw in any, but it's trying to escape. Put our lid on and we'll let that cook on high until it gets hot and we're gonna come back and we're gonna stir it and see where it's at. Now that it's bubbling, we're gonna turn this down to low and let it simmer for about two hours every 10 to 15 minutes, we're going to stir it just to make sure the apples don't stick to the bottom of our pan. And then, we're going to check on it. We're going to make it nice and soft. It's been mm, about four and a half hours since I started this. I've been stirring it every 15 minutes or so. And look at how nice that looks. Big chunks of apple in there. It smells so good in here. Oh, it smells so good in here. All right. Now we're just going to mix it with our immersion blender here. Uh, if you don't have one of these, um, you can do this in batches in a food processor. You have to let it cool down a little bit first, or you could do it in a food a food mill. nice and smooth all right here is our finished product I did put a teaspoon of vanilla in it sorry I forgot to film it okay I don't have a, a jar funnel so wish me luck uh, if you're going to put your hot apple butter into a mason jar make sure that you heat it up because cold glass and hot food uh, don't mix well All right, so there's that with my mess. And I'll clean this up and we're gonna give this a taste on a little piece of toast. 
Oh, I cannot wait to try this. So we got our jar of warm apple butter here, our beautiful orchard fresh apples that we made it with, and our little toast here to sample. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really good. That was worth, that was worth all the work. That was definitely worth all the work. That's so good. Yeah, so if uh, you got an afternoon and a hankering for some apple butter, I would, I would definitely recommend that you try this recipe. If you like this video, make sure you click the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and make sure you click that little bell icon. That way you know every time I upload a video. I uh, hope you guys really enjoy this video, and I will see you next time. Bye.